Yeah. Oh, do you believe that God's chosen you? Yes. Why is that? I believe that he's chosen me because when I first prayed for someone who fell out of a tree, I told you guys about the story already about Noah. Yeah. Um, and he was completely fine, no pain, no nothing. I was just amazed in what God could do. So, but how did you first start your ministry? Because I remember two years ago, I came to your church and you sat in the front row and you're watching me pray and you're listening to what I was saying and you're listening to what Granny Julie was telling you. So, so what, what, what sort of made you want to begin to pray for people? So seeing the miracles that God did through you was shocking and it made me think God could choose anyone but what if he did choose me? I tried and when I realized that God did choose me to do mir to show people about miracles, it was pretty impressive. So then I continued doing it from there and I started to love it. And so and so after after we went home from Catherine and you're saying the first miracle you saw, you're in the backyard and this Aboriginal boy fell out of a tree. You prayed for him. Tell us about that time. What happened? So with this kid, he was a really good friend of ours. He, I don't know if he, wait, he's in high school now. But when, when this happened, he was still in, well, primary school. And knowing that, um, God may have chosen me. I went over, asked him to sit down, and I was very nervous at this time. I was like, I just didn't think this through. I was like, what am I gonna do next? And I thought, maybe I should try and pray. And I prayed for him. I touched him, I asked God to touch him, and he did. And then, all of a sudden, he felt no pain. Well, that's wonderful. And so, and, and so while you sit in the front row watching me pray for sick people, did that inspire you? Yeah, that really inspired me. And was it amazing to see all the miracles? Yeah, that was really incredible. And so, and so having seen miracles in, in my meetings, did are you think, well, if Poppy can be used of God, I can be used too. Did you think that? Yeah, I sort of thought that, but... At this time when, even though it's two years ago, I still didn't understand things very well and I thought, um, God must be doing this, there's no other way and I tested it out and yeah. Wow, so after that first miracle you just kept praying for sick children? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't care if the teachers didn't like me doing it or not because I knew I heard someone tell me that in the future, there will be one teacher that will, in fact, like what I'm doing and go with it and know that it's a good thing. And now you have got a teacher who doesn't stop you from praying for sick people at school. Mm -hmm. She encourages me to do it and she loves it when I do it. That's good. And so, and so you've been praying now for sick children and even adults for two years now. Mm -hmm. And, you, and you're, you, so you started when you were eight, now you're 10. So you're a seasoned healing of angels up to two years. Yep. And, and so, so what happens when you tell, you're not only praying for, for people, adults as well, and you also tell them about Jesus, don't you? Exactly. And, and, so, and so what do people say to you when you tell them about Jesus? So they actually start to believe in Jesus. They, lo they start to love Jesus. They don't hate him. They start to love him and start to realize that only one person can do this, and he's not even a person. It's Jesus, he's God. Mm -hmm. and, and so I was out with you the other day, and and, uh, and and you got talking to a complete stranger, and you didn't even know him. Do you, do you often talk, talk to adults about God? Well, yes, I actually do. And... and um, it's quite amazing for a child to do that because, um, and, and the man was quite amazed that you would speak to him like that and, and he was a complete stranger. Amazing. And tell us some of the adults you've prayed for. So I prayed for a bunch of adults and one of them was actually a teacher. And so she actually broke her hand and 
She couldn't eat breakfast as well, and she couldn't do that many things as well. I prayed for her. She said thank you to me again and again. And I said, and I calmed her down, and I said, don't thank me, thank God. Wow. And then she looked up and she said, thank you. Wow, and you, you also, um, Petrina, mm -hmm. didn't you? What happened to her? Was it her neck? Um, well, it Tim wasn't, Harrison. it wasn't called, her name wasn't Petrina, but what she had was she had a sore neck and a sore back, and she, and this was also the same day when my, when her daughter came in to say hello to my dad, and she said, my mom had a little visitor today, and that little visitor, of course, was me, and I pray for her, and she's and she was amazed. She was shocked, and she loved the fact about that happening to her. Wow! And you told her about Jesus. It was Jesus who did it. Yep. Wonderful. Now it, it's quite amazing some of these miracles, even with adults. And, and I remember, okay, uh, she got healed, and uh, her husband actually went and saw your dad and told him about what you did, and they're, they're amazed that you want to pray for her at the tuck shop. That's, that's pretty amazing, mm. Bo. And Bo, do you think that this, uh, God, God can use other children to heal the sick? I mean, yeah, of course. If he, just, you, if he just turned a regular boy like me into a healing of angels like that, then of course he can do it with other kids. It's not just me who can do this. Well, that's amazing. And so, so how do you pray for the sick? Do you just lay hands on them? What do you do? Sometimes I lay my hands on them and pray for them like that. Or if they don't want me to touch them, or if it's too painful for me to touch them, I reach out and instead of touching them, I just either hover my hand over, the back, or over their back, or even if I'm really far away, I just do that anyway. Mm -hmm. And I pray for them either way. You pray in the name of Jesus? Mm-hmm. Because he's a healer, isn't he? Yeah, and no one can take that away from him. Wow, that's amazing. Well, thanks for sharing that, Bo, because it's important for people to understand that God uses not just adults, he uses children, he uses anybody who's willing to believe. Mm. And um, he's wonderful, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's really good. Okay, well, Bo, thanks for sharing those little tips. Bye. And I know the last two years you've seen many, many miracles and people healed and you got a lot more stories, but um, just want to encourage everybody. Hey, thanks, Bo. Bye. And he says you can heal them too in Jesus' name.